Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to greet all participants of the 17th South Caucasus Media Conference. I am Leila Abdullaiva, spokesperson of the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Azerbaijan, and I would like to speak about the freedom of expression and media freedom developments in Azerbaijan. Ensuring the freedom of expression and information is one of the essential elements in building a democratic society based on the respect for human rights and the rule of law. The government of Azerbaijan has been undertaking consistent measures to protect the freedom of media and put in place necessary conditions for free and unhindered operation of mass media outlets in the country. The freedom of expression is guaranteed by the Constitution of Azerbaijan and relevant legislative acts. The government has initiated various measures to strengthen financial sustainability of the media and they include, among others, reduced taxation, provision of loans, payment of their debt from the state budget and direct financial support. Thus, the Constitution adopted on November 1995 affirms freedom of expression, opinion and information, everybody's right to obtain and disseminate information and inadmissibility of the censorship over media. The Order of the President of the Republic of Azerbaijan of August 1998 abolished senior department on protection of state secrets in press and other media by the Cabinet of Ministers and eliminated the censorship over the media. The law on obtaining information, which entered into force on September 2005, had been elaborated with participation of journalist organizations and international experts. For the first time in the Commonwealth of Independent States area, in 2000, Azerbaijan abolished procedure for official registration of media and the state agency that implemented this procedure, the Minister of Press and Information. Any Azerbaijani citizen may start media activities with just notifying relevant structure. To operate at the electronic media space, it is only required to purchase a domain. One of the important steps in the development of media, especially in printed media in our country, was the adoption of concept of state support to the development of mass media in the Republic of Azerbaijan, approved by the Presidential Decree dated July 2008. In accordance with the concept, the State Fund for Mass Media Development was established under the President of the Republic of Azerbaijan in 2009. There are currently more than 5,100 media outlets freely operating in Azerbaijan. Around 20 news agencies, 10 nationwide, 14 regional and 17 cable TV channels, as well as 14 radio channels that are functioning in our country. The majority of mass media outlets represent independent and opposition-leaning media. At the same time, there are no restrictions on the distribution of transnational media in our country. Furthermore, internet segment has been rapidly growing as the overall number of internet users has exceeded 80% of the Azerbaijani populations. Since 2000, a special license for operation of internet providers is not required in Azerbaijan. Any individual and legal entity can operate as an internet provider. Moreover, free access of citizens to social media such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube is ensured. The number of social network users in our country is over 3 million, which is a significant indicator for a country with a population of 10 million. Thus the segment is quite dynamic and vibrant as attested by active social media users. More than 50 journalist organizations are registered and around 30 organizations deal with the issues of freedom of speech and information, strengthening economic independence of mass media, protection of rights of journalists and managing relations between mass media and population. Application area of existing media legislation has been extended 
2017 to internet media and partially social media, both of which are considered by international organizations as segments of media. Leading world states have similar practice. Same legal requirements are applied to all segments of one sector. The broadcasters are registered as legal entities by the relevant state bodies. They are taxpayers and all information pertaining to them can be found in open sources of the state bodies in charge of their registration. The National Strategy 2014-2020 for the Development of Information Society in the Republic of Azerbaijan and state programme for the implementation of this national strategy are being implemented. Safety of journalists is ensured by the relevant legislation. All offences, including against journalists and human rights defenders, are fully investigated and all necessary measures are put in place to ensure that the perpetrators are prosecuted. No one is brought to justice because of their journalistic activities, but for committing concrete criminal or administrative offences. Ladies and gentlemen, as we are living in a period when all worldwide economic, social and health system is threatened by pandemic, I think it's worth if we touch upon the issues of freedom of expression during the COVID-19 pandemic. Journalism is key to supplying credible information. While countries all around the world are grappling to contain the spread of the novel coronavirus, the need for responsible and accurate media is becoming increasingly apparent. Media representatives continue freely exercising their activities in Azerbaijan during the pandemic without any restrictions. From the beginning of the pandemic, Azerbaijani national authorities have implemented several containment measures to halt the spread of COVID-19, which were fully in line with the World Health Organization requirements. WHO as well as the UN country team in Azerbaijan commended the efforts of the government of Azerbaijan in this sphere. In order to tackle the pandemic, the operational center under the cabinet of ministers, with the participation of relevant state entities, has been established. The operational center holds regular briefings with participation of media outlets and journalists. Public officials in charge of handling the situation engage in interactive dialogue with the media representatives and address their concerns and questions. A specialized hotline established by the center gathers feedbacks, recommendations and complaints for all the reviews and promptly response to all instances of whistleblowing. Another successful practice with respect to safeguarding media freedom has been the establishment of a specialized information portal on COVID-19 pandemic www.coronavirusinfo.az. The portal reflects all the latest uh, developments and news with regard to the pandemic situation, offers interactive statistical data on cases provides a user-friendly format of all the lockdown and restriction rules and presents safety rules, guidelines and recommendations in a unified and systematic format. Due to work overload within healthcare bodies, which have sometimes been too occupied to respond to journalist inquiries, the portal has played a role of an effective bridge to link this communication. Throughout the lockdown period, journalists have mostly been exempt from moving restrictions, which allowed for more extensive and undisruptive news coverage. Granting journalists freedom to easily work has been a crucial step towards timely informing of public. I would like to touch upon also the freedom of expression and capacity building measures during that period. The Press Council has consistently attended the online meetings of the Global Journalism Council, which addressed the main challenges to journalism posed by the pandemic. 
Guided by these discussions, the Council systematically delivers its recommendations to national media outlets and individual journalists to safeguard the quality of journalism. The government of Azerbaijan also pays attention to enhancing professionalism of journalists and ensuring quality journalism. For this purpose, capacity building measures have also been implemented. A program entitled Towards Digital, Digital Journalism has been launched with the initiative of eGov Development Center, which incorporates several sessions of online trainings and webinars for journalists, as well as targets enhancement of their skills in online investigative journalism. Several state entities have conducted online conferences and information sessions with participation of journalists to provide additional resources for more effective media coverage during the pandemic. Due to limitations about organization trainings with physical presence of attendees, various information portals have created online resources on recommendations and tips on carrying out journalistic activity in the context of current situation. Several information campaigns have been launched calling the public to disregard fake news, report and combat inaccurate information, as well as engage in source monitoring. Social creeps were prepared encouraging critical evaluation of news on the pandemic and the ability to differentiate between credible and suspicious or biased sources. Ladies and gentlemen, I think I would like to stop myself here and I'm looking forward for our fruitful discussions during the question and answer session of the conference. Thank you very much for your attention.